Good morning humans, we are right here in Flamingo. Uh, I think the last time we were here was March. It's my day off today, so I'm here fishing. And uh, I'm looking for a keeper. I got gold. I got the amazing Skelly Swim. If you wanna get one of those, I'm gonna put a link down below to Chop Calls. They're not sponsoring this video. As a matter of fact, we're not sponsoring anything. I don't know, like, what do you guys think about sponsored videos? If I get sponsored by a company to do a specific video about a specific product uh, the video may get like a two thousand views and die and uh, yeah let's say i get paid i don't know this, uh, i'm not saying that this is always the case but let's say i get uh, pay a thousand dollars for it it's basically getting a thousand dollars for one like one time payment and that's it there's nothing else and you spend probably two three days filming that video editing doing all the stuff doing extra work now if i take all that time and i put into one of my hero videos Right, something that I think is gonna blow up. That video has the potential of making way more than a thousand dollars over the year. Yeah, it sounds like amazing getting a sponsored video, but if the video doesn't deliver, you only charge the company $250, say, or $500, or whatever you charge it, and you probably spend more money making the video than what you charge them, and then you don't get the money back. So, you know, it's uh, now if it's like, if it's like I'm doing my hero video, my dream video. And I'm getting a sponsor. I'm getting that video sponsor. That's the perfect thing. And, and that is up to me to to like pitch it to the companies. Hey, you know what? I know you want a product review, or I know you want me to talk about this specific product in this video. But I'm just gonna do my video and reference the product. Keep it down. On the boat. I said keeper. Uh, do I have any green? Shit, I don't have any greens. I don't have any green. Guys, we got the first keeper trial. Uh, where is it? My measuring tape was right here on this boat. Uh, it's probably a keeper, but when in doubt, just throw it back. First fish of the day, guys. Ooh. It just jumped on his own. Thought we got the first trial. That was epic. Finally got a nice fish, guys. Nice. I don't know what that is. It's a red fish. It's a snook. Nice snook. No keeper, but a snook. Man, you wouldn't think this yak attack lever, what is it called? Level? Leverage thing would be any good, but I don't know if I'm tired. I don't know what the heck is going on with me, but this right here helped a lot. <laughs> good job. And um, I don't have a measuring thing to measure this nook but let me tell you huh? this is a nice quality snook again cut on that amazing skelly swim it's probably I would say this is definitely more than 20 inches not legal but hey nice snook where the mullets were jumping there is sharks around here so that's why I let it go quick I don't want no problem with the sharks. We we just hooked another snook like next to the boat, but like like it got away. Man, that was a good, the craziest hook set ever. 
like it was subtle. Like I didn't feel like it was hooked. I just went after it and I just subtly put the hook. Kelly swing guys, Skelly swing for the win. Look at this, another fish to the Skelly swim. Guys, you won't believe there is two mangrove crabs in there. I don't know how they got there. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know. <laughs> Live bait. <laughs> so why would you want such a long pole? This yak attack, park and pole, link, it's two pieces, eight foot long. Why? Because look at this guys, look at this. I'm basically, park I'm pulling myself here and let me tell you something the a foot makes a difference and for transportation being able to cut it in half awesome stuff I'm gonna link one of these actually everything we use today oh uh, and, and, and the videos whatever everything is always linked down below it's an affiliate link to our Amazon store so go check it out is uh, this is like perfect right here seriously I mean if I had the patient to look for fish this will be amazing but um i don't even know what patient is it's 10 a.m and um, my wife and son are home and <laughs> that's what's calling me i caught my fish today that's that's i guess that's what i wanted and this thing floats there's current here i don't want to throw it and I have to come back and get it but it floats i think i could probably use the motor i mean it's just grass if i go low speed it should be fine uh, one thing for sure I'm gonna do on my next fishing trip is mute every single notification. My god, it never stops. Damn, hey, what's up, humans? So, I'm sitting on the black pack by Yak Attack. <laughs> Highly recommend that, it even works as a seat. And uh, if I were sitting here in the seat in front of me. The motor will be like too low on the water and it will be like cutting through grass i mean it's very shallow right here but i'm sitting on the back as you can see and we could go fast and i have full control of the motor because i got the remote here and i got the north key on so i could literally be fishing now on the way which is amazing and this black pack is so amazing like i'm sitting on it i'm like probably a hundred and 98 pounds right now and i'm sitting on it cool stuff yeah epic day guys hope you like the video and um look if you like my videos i have hundreds of them so you could spend an entire vacation watching my videos and watch this i should have turned it off before it hits the ground it's all nice. and this should just propel me to the end so i don't even have to get a paddle like i should be able to just do that and now get off and slowly walk out because uh it's gonna be very slippery here and i don't have any special shoes oh, i could walk through the deck of the boat go all the way out but i'm just gonna get a little should i uh, look i don't have to get wet it's a little wet not much and my phone is here out. Right here. I wish I had a rope attached 